So as you can see there, um, that is my $300 lift ticket. Um, I the location, uh, Park City, um, known to be one of the world's best uh, resorts. It's actually on the top 10 biggest ski resorts in the world, landing at number 10. Um, the other ones are in are in different countries like France is a big one. Uh, Italy have huge, huge slopes. Switzerland, probably ones I won't ever get get to see. Are these resorts on the other side of the world? And I don't even know if I'll be able to even go back to Park City. Um, but uh, yeah, there were big crowds waiting to go up the gondola, as you could see in this video. Um, and that is Canyon's Village. Um, one of the villages, there's also, there's actually another village, another destination you can go um, called Park City. This is Canyon's Village. Uh, this is a little run. That's a gondola in the back, and on the right is the ski slope going up the hill. The gondola goes way, way higher, but it takes a long time. And I didn't have enough patience to wait for those lines, so I ended up just messing around with this slope for a while. For like an hour, I was shooting some film, and I then later went to um, the top of the hill. Um, here's an example of me explaining snowboarding. Um, this is a pretty advanced, this is a beginner level, toes up, heels down, toes down, heels up. Um, back to the slope, chest to the slope, and this one is skiing example. Advanced skiing. Of course, you wouldn't do those right away out, out of the gate when um, learning. Um, so I was actually wrong in this one. It's not the biggest in the world. It's one of the biggest in the world, landing at 10. Maybe the biggest in the USA. Um, on the list I looked at, there weren't any other more examples other than Canada. That was as big as this one. This is the biggest in probably the USA. Uh, so I was pretty lucky, lucky to uh, to see to go here. Um, an amazing. There was it was snowing. There was great powder, and um, there was a guy in a costume, of Sasquatch even, and DJs and restaurants. And a huge, huge, as you can see, the snowfall um, on that tree, all that powder on a slope, fresh stuff. Um, and I was also wearing my backpack uh, that I got from Canada. Uh, first time doing that, but it was, it was a good time. Um. Uh, As you can see, all this powder on the ground. Um, just flying everywhere, mounds of powder on this resort. There are actually um, avalanche measures taken explosions when I was on the mountain um, to avoid avalanches avalanche mitigation um, with explosives the ski patrol or whoever would do it would blow up stuff couldn't imagine having that job 
but uh, this is where Tombstone is, one of the lower ski lifts, and this is where you can go all the way to the top of the hill, and that's the restaurant. Um, crowds of people waiting. Um, and this is the top of the hill, uh, above where I just was. And this is a unrestricted area. I was told there's actually people who died going down that way. Don't know if it's true. There's a bunch of powder and looks very beautiful to go down, but I actually got stuck in the powder, was not able to move or get up. So I quickly ended that. And here I am. Um, Extremely tired. My legs are cramping. Um, I'm having having a hard time getting down the hill, so I ended up just sliding down. I was so exhausted, and um, lifting doesn't help because I was lifting the day before. That probably certainly didn't help this situation. But I ended up getting down just fine and having fun on the way. Um, some moose in the trees. While uh, going home, um, this is a ski lift. And this is a live band. They uh, have these in Canyons Village. They have live bands there for the people. I feel like it's just a good thing to have when there's that many people and it's that big and that nice to have a live band. And this is a, a Toyota thing. Um, Laser Monkey is a company and Graves products and Toyota probably had them come out and do that for them for free for whoever wants one. This is a Toyota vehicle and um, that's a Toyota pickup truck, customized pickup truck um, and some underglow which I've never seen before. So yeah, would I go to Park City again? Yes, I would. I uh, enjoy snowboarding, enjoying the activity. Um, it's a good change of pace when you live in a small town like I do. So.